Hi, and welcome to Paper Root Scrapbooking. I'm Nadine, and today I'm sharing all of the amazing embellishments I received from my swaps in the month of March. Okay, so today I wanted to come on here and share what I received for the month of March over on Ginger's Corner. And um, first of all, I want to say thank you to everybody who is here today. I know how many places on the internet you could be right now, and I really, really appreciate you being here. If you have been here for a while, you probably heard me talk about the swaps that I joined on Ginger's Corner this year, and I'm really enjoying them. So I wanted to pop in and show you kind of like a uh, overall view of what you might receive in a month over at the swap group. Now, I want to preface this also by, and if you're new here, welcome and thank you for coming and popping in and watching and um, yeah, I really appreciate you all being here, like I said. Anyways, um, I want to preface this video by saying that I am a captain on Ginger's Corner, so you by no means would be expected to necessarily make embellishments for every swap. I don't have to either. You really do sign up for what you can do and what you feel like, like if I can't do it this week, I'm not gonna sign up this week. If I want to do it this week, I'm gonna sign up. If I want to do four swaps this week, then I'm gonna sign up for four. Um, it, it's entirely your decision how much you do or don't participate. If you wanna just sign up for the main swaps, that's what you're looking at right now is a main swap, um, by all means. Those are really fun. You have about three weeks to make your embellishments. Um, you get lots in return. It's super fun. Um, if you just want to sign up for the minis, they're once a week. You make four things, you send them out, you get four things back. Um, it's, it's interesting. So anyways, here we are. This is actually, I believe, February's, maybe January. Hmm, now I'm second guessing myself. Anyway. The Butterfly Kisses swap was for the month of February, I believe. And it was a main swap, and so you are to make 10 butterflies and send them to your captain, and your captain will collect all 10 butterflies from all 10 participants and send you 10 different butterflies back to you. So if you want one of what you make, so let's say you made this beautiful embellishment here. If you made this beautiful embellishment here and you wanted one for yourself, you'd want to make five. So you'd send four, keep one, right? If you um, don't want one and you just want to make and share and bless others with what you have, that is entirely up to you. So five embellishments, keep one, send four. You put an envelope in it, write your address on it. There's all that information in Ginger's Corners Facebook group. I will link it below. Um, one of the beautiful things about Ginger's group is that there is no wrong way. So if you're like, I'm not sure if I'm doing this right, you are, because there isn't a wrong way to do it. And if there seems to be a problem with something you did, your captain will contact you, will work it out. Everybody's very friendly. So this is the Butterfly Kisses one. Now, I'm in Canada, so this is very new in Canada. Um, the, the people in the U.S. have been doing this, the swappers in the U.S. and Ginger's group have been doing this for a while, and they have full groups all the time. I don't. Um, we're still working on building our community, and it it's growing, which is super exciting, and I love the ladies that are in there already. Um, we had a live chat uh in the month of March and I got to see their beautiful faces and get to know them a little better and it was really nice. So if that's something that interests you, whether you're in the US or Canada or Europe, um, please pop on over to Ginger's Corner and watch all the information. And here I'm just gonna share what I got because I feel so blessed by this group. So normally you would make 10 of the same butterfly, send it to your captain and your captain would send you 10 different butterflies back. For the main swap, it does not matter if you embellish. So as you can see, there's some bling, there's some dimension, and that's all fine, okay? So in my case, there was only two girls who were participating this time. So I may, I think, actually, I think, now that I think about it, there might have been three. I don't remember. Anyways, the ones that I have here are from two of the 
the girls. Um, and these ones here are from my friend Ruth and these ones on this side are from my friend Celeste. And now that I think about it, I think I made 30. So there must've been another participant and I did not set hers aside for the video. I am sorry. Um, but here is what I got. So um, I got some fussy cut butterflies. I got a uh, layered die cut piece. I got these beautiful heart ornaments that are like mother and child. So gorgeous. I got this gorgeous butterfly. I got this little bundle of butterflies. I have this beautiful border and it's like cut from like some kind of foil paper. It's so pretty. This is gorgeous. I just adore this one. And so is this I, glitter paper, right? Like it just makes everything so pretty and the vellum in the background is so pretty as well um and then I love this so much this is totally going on a layout of me and my dad because that was our, our our jam uh and then Celeste sent all of these beautiful and do you see how they're all different like you're not gonna get 10 boring butterflies back like I have pockets and tags and puzzle pieces and doilies and um, these are like I think these were from Studio Calico I have some cameras like this and you basically ink them whatever color you want and then add them to your layout which is super cool um, and then Celeste always sends me a little bit of bling because she's a blingy, blingy friend and I love that it's so exciting um, so this was my butterfly kisses swap now this is the main swap so it's pretty big right so are you going to want 20 butterflies? Maybe. If butterflies are your jam, sign up for two spots. Make 20 butterflies. Send them out. Get 20 different butterflies back, right? If you are not a butterfly person and you're like, those are insects and I am never putting a butterfly on anything ever, then don't sign up for that swap because that's not going to be interesting to you, right? So that's the beauty of it. You don't have to participate if it's not your thing. If you participate once a year, we still want you there. If you participate every week, we still want you there. If you participate once a month, we still want you there. So it's just a really fun place to be. And if you just want inspiration on making your own embellishments with your scraps, that's the place to be. Ginger puts out videos like that all the time. They, there is albums full of inspiration in that group. Head on over. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. So I'm just gonna pause the camera here and I'm gonna show you some of my mini swaps, which are also very cool. Okay, so these are the embellishments that I received during the month of March for the mini swaps. So some of them started out in February, but these are the ones that got finished up in March. So I have like the full set. So um, like I said, sometimes I have, I'm on one team. Sometimes there's enough that makes a whole team and I don't have to, participate in that team I just have to swap them out mail them out so it's different every week but um I am loving what I get what I do get to keep um and hang on to and I love seeing what other people are doing and I love sending them back to everybody and hearing what they received and how you know how excited they are to use them now um I think, let me think. Okay, I think this one was first. So this was the red hot mini swap. And so basically anything that's hot. So like the sun, the tiki torches, the rocket fire, the lantern. Um, this, this is, this is Treva. I know this is Treva. So she thought camping. So she made this little campfire, the frying pan and a tiny little fish. And look at, oh my gosh, how cute are these little canoes. And a tent so she made this like whole little bundle thing here which is so cute um, and here we have um, a campfire and how cute is that too she made this is from Ruth I know it is and she made a little s'more a little hot dog stick and some marshmallows on a stick like that is stinking cute and next up was the Pretty in Pink swap. Now, I uh, I know I'm missing some of the embellishments from the Pretty in Pink because I used some of them already. And also, I have some tucked away for a layout. So these are the ones that I still had um, left out to show you guys. And honestly, the video does not do them any justice whatsoever. So these card fronts and um, beautiful flower stamps are from Donna, and they 
like this is like the foiling machine whatever that's called mink mink machine maybe and it the pink foil is just phenomenal so this is pink foil these tiny little hearts are pink foil I don't know if you can oh my gosh they're so stinking cute and like honestly the video does not do them justice they're so shiny same with these butterflies like oh my gosh these ones are from Kathy that, but she also did the pink foiling and oh my gosh I just love 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 them so that's what I had left from the pretty in pink to show you and then um, after pretty in pink I think we did winter wear or maybe winter wear was before pretty in pink I actually don't really remember but winter wear we have look at Kathy made these super cute little skates and she sent us like the twine to lace them up with I love them and then Celeste made these cute toucan mitts, and um, I don't know what you guys call it in the States, but I think it's something else, but we call a winter hat a toque. And then um, Ruth made these little guys. Oh my goodness, how freaking cute are these? They have like, they're little emojis with winter stuff on their heads. Like, I love that. And then this little like winter hat with the Canadian symbol because we're Canada swap group, like so cute. I just love it. Um, and then we did the post office. Uh, I think it was called Mr. Postman. And um, look at all the cool stuff that came from that one. So postcards, super useful, right? And these little envelopes, oh my gosh, they actually like are envelopes too. Like you can put stuff in them, right? So cute. So I got a couple of those. This one, oh my goodness, look at these. So, and see, sometimes I don't know who they're from because they don't put their name on it and I don't have that long of a memory. So, um, but look at these little stamps all punched out. These little envelopes like that is stinking cute. And they're like embossed or whatever. So, yeah, so cute. In this little envelope, like so sweet with a different little, this is like a patterned paper on the inside, so sweet. And then some mailboxes. This is what our Canadian mail trucks look like. So I thought that was very, very cute. And way to go, Ruth, for sticking with that because I know she struggled with that one, but it looks awesome. And then some stamped images, a little envelope, a little, you know, you got birthday mail. This is all about birthday mail. Perfect for making a card. And then I love this piece too. This is like stamped and embossed. Awesome. And then I got okay I think that's it for the mini swaps actually so super cute super versatile like I said I already got some things on the go I think there was a couple things from here too that I've already popped into some layouts um, yeah so cute so I am going to um, again clear the desk and then I'm going to talk about a couple of other kinds of swaps that we have over on Ginger's Corner. One is a die cut swap. One is a card swap. So hang on, I'm going to just show you those. All right, so this one is what we call the die cut partner swap. So you get paired up with one other person and you make, uh, I think it was 10 um, minimum die cuts. And they're not to be layered or embellished or anything. They're just to be your die cuts. So basically the idea is I have a bunch of heart die cuts. You have a heart, bunch of heart die cuts. They're different die cuts. Let's not get bored of which ones we have and let's share. So um, you swap with a partner. So my partner this time was Paula and she is actually not from Canada. We swapped uh, across the border. She's from the US. And she, these are the ones that she sent me, and aren't they freaking adorable? Like, these t tiny, like, confetti hearts are just, I don't know, melting my heart, I guess. And then, um, I really, really, really like this one. This is so cute. I just adore that. So, anyway, so I was just I, excited to see what she had to send, and I sent her some things, and I hope she enjoyed them. And then, um... Yeah, that's all there is to it. It's a super simple one. You just cut out 10, to, I don't know, is there 10 things here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's 15. 10 to 15 things and swap them with your partner. I actually should have looked that up before I started recording, but um, 
all the information is over at Ginger's Corner if you're interested. So if this is something that interests you, I think we do these about once a month also. So um, that if that's all you want to do, perfect. We want you over there. So um, yeah, so this is a partner swap, die cut partner swap. So you're just trading die cuts with somebody. Okay. Now I am also going to talk about this one while I have these here. So this is the card swap. So you make four cards that are relevant to the theme. So this time around the theme was spring and then you swap them with your partner. So this is another partner swap, okay? So you're only trading with one person unless you sign up for more than one spot. If you wanna trade with two people and make eight cards, then you sign up for two spots, okay? So I am not a card maker, so I will be 100% honest. I only agreed to do this because we wanted, we want to encourage people in Canada to swap. And I was a bit worried that my cards would not be up to par because I'm not a card maker. Um, and so I snuck over to my mom's house and pillaged from her craft room because she makes beautiful cards and I sent them to Kathy. So um, these are the ones that Kathy sent me though. So they are beautiful. And again, it's kind of neat because I don't have these dies, right? So my cards aren't gonna look like this. Um, yeah, and she doesn't have the ones that I sent. So again, you're trading, right? And you can make four of this similar card with different colors. There's not really a rule that way. I think it was just four cards that are relevant to the theme. This one says happy birthday. She used dragonflies on hers, which are amazing. Look at how, and this this paper, you can't tell on, on, um, on camera, but like this is a vellum paper, this card cover, so pretty. And then this is um, glimmer paper, so it's actually got a shine to it which makes it even more beautiful. And same with this, this is a vellum on top of cardstock and it's just so super pretty. Um, and you have to send an envelope that matches the size of your card as well. So yeah, this one's pretty too. Again, vellum and um, this um, turquoise, well, it's more green, I guess. Paper is also glimmery, so pretty. So thank you, Kathy, for those cards. So partner swaps, die cut partner swaps, card partner swaps. If you're just a card maker and you only want to sign up for the card swaps, I think they're for a year. So um, yeah, definitely pop over to Ginger's Corner and do that. And again, anywhere in Canada, the US or the um, Europe. Okay, so I'm going to pause here and I'm going to set up my last share. Um, which was the main swap for March. So I was right, the butterfly one was from February and I do have my March items here. All right, so our next main swap theme for the month of March um, was baby, as you can see. And again, in Canada, we did not end up having enough people to make uh, 10 of the same embellishment and then swap with your 10 other um, team members. So what we did was we made it into a partner swap. So I partnered with two ladies. This is my partner Kathy's and this is my partner Donna's and um, they both knocked it out of the park I have to say. These are amazing. And um, so Kathy made some beautiful and this is the beauty of a main swap is that you don't have to keep everything flat for mailing okay you can bulk it up a bit so this is made on foam um, it's three layers beautiful beautiful paper there's bling on there and perfect for a baby album great way to use up your scraps right these die cut frames are just adorable a couple little bunnies just in time for easter that's so cute these little prams are adorable and check out these shakers. Like how freaking cute is that? Right? And it's got this little metal embellishment and a little bow. Like just so sweet. This is a shaker also. Again with the metal and the bow. Like I just love that. So sweet. So yes, I am still scrapping my baby granddaughter. So a lot of these are going to go into her album. Um, and I do not 
discriminate blue for a girl. I don't. I'm a little more resistant with the pink, um, especially for this one, just because that's um, a preference for the family. Um, but that's, that's, I mean, everybody does it differently. I also added pink to my grandson's stuff because pink is just part of baby colors. I didn't do a whole pink layout, but you know, anyway, that's just my rambling. So bath time, blue and pink, so cute. I love this little tub and it's neutral. So it could be either boy or girl and the little bubbles, like these aren't attached, but how freaking cute is that? Right. And these little bubbles have little, like they're embossed. So in the centers, they're like embossed up. I love this die cut. I need this in my life. And then these two little booties are so sweet. Diaper pins, look at this little bundle. Sweet pea, and then it's got this little sweet pea baby. Oh my gosh, so cute. Um, Handprints and footprints, and again, these are embossed. It, you can't see it on camera, I don't think, but it's got like a little indentation of their little footprints, so sweet. And then look at how cute are these. This little elephant and this little giraffe, so sweet. She actually, my Amelia, her bedroom is all elephants. So that is awesome for her. So excited about these. So um, obviously if you didn't ever, you know, don't have any babies to scrapbook, you don't make baby cards, this wouldn't be the swap for you. And that's just the beauty of Ginger's Corner is you don't have to do every one. You just sign up for the ones that interest you. And I think the one coming up in um, the month of April is called Puppy Dog Tales and it's anything to do with a dog. And in my mind, anything to do with a dog could be, um, you know, pet themed, it could be wolf, it could be um, at the zoo, they have, you know, dog-like animals, coyotes, that kind of thing. Um, it could be wilderness. I just think that it can go so many directions. So, um, of course, if that wasn't your gem, then you just wouldn't sign up for it. Um, but I am hoping that this month we get enough swappers that we can do um, like a group swap instead of a partner swap. We shall see. So if you are interested in any of that, I would love for you to pop over to Ginger's Corner. And I just wanted to give a little shout out to some of my ladies because some of them send me bonus material and I just, I am so blessed to have you women in my life. Like check these out. These are so stinking cute. So Celeste sends me blingy things because she's a blingy girl. And so she just sends me little bits of bling to add to my pages, which I adore. Max made bonus embellishments with her last swap that she sent me because she was like, no, just because I can. So I did um, share her blessings with my other swappers. And then I kept a few that I was like, oh, I really like these, like these, these little yellow flowers. I'm totally using those. Those are so cute. And I love that she put one on like there and like just using up her scraps, right? And then she has these little ones. I thought these would be cute in Emmy's album. So totally going in there. Um, so yeah, I love, I love when they send me little bonus things. And I think I talked about this in one of my Calvin Ball um, videos, but check out these. So my friend Kathy on her first swap, she's like, I just want to thank you for being the captain. And I just wanted to make you a little something. These are my favorite thing I've gotten so far. Like, look at these. So she made these, these are dies and stamps and oh my goodness, look at, and she distressed the edges of them. I love these like so much. And then there's some little ticket ones loving and these little ticket strips with like like oh my gosh I just adore these so thank you to all of you and that I'm I've gotten other things too but those are the ones that are still out on my desk so I wanted to show them to you and I just wanted to say thank you to all of the ladies in my swap groups who um who trade who share their blessings with the rest of us I just think it's like such a fun place to be so if you are interested at all in any of the swaps that are over on Ginger's Corner, please come and join us. I will put all of her information below. And the beauty of it is that there is no wrong way. So please come and check us out. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Like I always say, 
I know there are a lot of places that you could be on the internet and I really, really appreciate that you're here. And um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I love to hear from you guys. I love chatting with you guys. And I will get back to you just as soon as I can. Have a great day, everybody. Bye for now.